Good evening. Then a teacher. Hi, Antonio. How are you? I feel better, teacher. You feel better? Yes, thank you. Are you, available? Right. Are you available today? Yes, I, I hope so, teacher. Okay. You are the only one right now. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, tell me, how was your day? Mm, was a little easy, teacher. I, really? I, have a, I have a lot of work, but it was no, no complicated for today. Oh, okay. And what do you do? Uh, I work for a, a manufacturing. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, this is in Olocuta City. So you eat pupusas every day, huh? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, yes, excellent. every day. Excellent. And uh, do you work? Do you work every day from Monday to Friday or from Monday to Saturday? Ah, uh, yes, I, I work from Monday to Saturday. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Yes, my, my day off is only Sunday. Me too, me too. My only day off is, is Sunday, yes. Well, have, have a Saturday and Sunday because I don't work in the, in the, uh, on Saturday afternoon, yes. Mm, sorry for you, teacher. <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. We need money, we have to work. <laughs> mm, yes, but, but Sunday is a little difficult to work because it's hard. The journal is a little hard. It is hard. Yes, it is hard. Yes. yes. It's okay. It's okay. But, but we need we need money, no? <laughs> That's why we work. That's why we work because we need yes. money. All right. All right. A pleasure talking to you, Pamela. Hello, Lucy. Gabriel is just listening. Isabel, hello. Hi, teacher. Do you hear me now? Hi, Pamela. Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. What happened to you? What happened Fine. to you yesterday? Yesterday, I can't connect. I couldn't. I couldn't, sorry. I couldn't. But I'm here today. Okay, that's good. That's good. And you look, you look good. You look good. You look like uh, with the energy, with the enthusiasm. I don't know. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired, teacher. <laughs> okay, the okay. Traffic I understand. Is, I understand. It's horrible. It's horrible. Oh, let me tell you that I, I was sleeping like uh, an hour ago. <laughs> I was, I was just, I was just enjoying my 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 hours off. I was sleeping, sleeping. It was good. It was good. Yes. All right. You'll want to sleep. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You'll need to sleep more. Yes. All right. Excellent. Thank you for being here, Pamela. It's a pleasure to see you again. Uh, Isabel, hello. Elivaldo, Christopher. Hello, guys. Thank you for being here. Hello, teacher. How are you, Isabel? Good, good. Good? How was your day? Yeah. Um, I, I, a little... A little stress, but but I a little normal in my case. Okay, all right, all right. I understand. I understand. That's okay. So you're you're fine. You're not tired <laughs> and not sleepy, right? Okay, okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, Christian, welcome. Magdaleno, welcome too. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Yes. All right. I was checking, well, I was reading the, the WhatsApp group today, and apparently you have the, the, the process to continue over there with the, with the next uh, module. 
Do you see the message? Yeah, I saw that. All right. Yeah, just just get ready, okay? If you want to continue, get ready. Right. Get your documents ready. Talk to your HR people and uh, okay. Yes. Very good. That's very very important. All right. We're gonna start. Let me take attendance. We got a few things to do. And uh, let me start. <clears throat> Maria Turcios is not here right now. No. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego. Christian Alexander Arevalo. Present teacher. Hi, Christian. Christopher Spitia Chipawa. Present teacher. Hey, Christopher. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. No. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Hector Francisco Morales. Continue. <clears throat> Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. No. Holman Saul uh, Hiron Sanchez. No, not yet. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres. Lu Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present. Yes, hello. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Yes. Nelson Antonio Herrera Rosales. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Romero. No. Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Roberto Carlos Hernandez. And uh, Rosa Lina Alvarado. Okay. All right. Very good, very good. Thank you guys for being here. What a pleasure. It's good to be here again and to continue practicing in trying to improve. Let me share with you the presentation and we're going to be reviewing yesterday's topic. We had we had a little, uh, a little, uh, how can I tell you, confusion. We had a little confusion with this topic. We were making uh, some mistakes with the inner questions. So we're going to practice this, this uh, topic again to see or to get a better understanding of it. Yes, this one, indirect questions, information questions. Okay, very good. Uh, well, uh, as a summary or just a quick review, let me tell you that these questions these questions do not take auxiliaries or do not take a uh, question word order, okay? They don't have the order of the questions. Remember that the questions, we use the auxiliary before the subject, all right? We use the auxiliary before the subject to make a question, yes. If the questions don't have that, we don't apply that, okay? That's just what it is. Now look, uh, let me read this definition again. It says, indirect questions are those type of questions that do not follow the question word order. Look, do not follow the question word order. Also, these questions do not take any auxiliaries such as do, does, and did. We don't use the auxiliaries. <clears throat> 
we can use the other auxiliaries, but we're, we have to change the order of, of it with the subject. Yes. And look over here. We use the following expressions. Do you know? I wonder if. I want. I was wondering if. I would like to know if, or I would like to know if. Can you tell me? I don't know. Could you tell me? And I don't remember if. Or you can simply say, I just, I don't remember. Okay. And that, that over here, over here, let me frame them or circle them. Look. These are the questions that we use. We use all these questions, all these questions to make indirect questions, okay? Yes. Let's take a look at some examples and then we will practice a little bit. Okay, look, I got more examples here. Yesterday I provided you with, with examples. Today I'm doing so again, but uh, with different examples. Questions are here, look. The astronaut, the astronaut does remember, does remember where he was feeling suffocation. The astronaut does remember where he was feeling suffocation. Feeling, I'm sorry, it says being over there. I don't know why I, I the L is missing, all right? Feeling, feeling suffocation. Do you think this example is correct? No? Yes. It is. It is correct. The example is correct. Okay. Very good. The second one. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says, Miss Watermelon from Microsoft. Soft. This S, no. Is asking why she will have to leave the installation. Miss Miss Watermelon from Microsoft is asking why she will have to leave the installation. Why will she will have to leave the installation is the indirect question. The same uh, uh, over here. Okay, yes, the same. Number three, does Mr. Blender remember what the boss was explaining to us? Does Mr. Blender remember what the boss was explaining to us, okay? And those are some examples of some, of some indirect questions using WH questions, yes. Now, let me show you more examples and then you will practice for a few minutes. Look, more examples. Katia doesn't know what she is competing for. Katia doesn't know what she is competing for. What she is competing for is the indirect question. We are using information questions with indirect questions. The researchers wonder if the report is looking as professional as they need it. The researchers wonder if the report is looking as professional as they need it. Okay, this one, no, I, I, I wrote it today, but, but it's not part of this. It's okay, I mean, it is correct, but it doesn't have the question. It says if, my bad, okay. Yes. Let's continue, look, another example. The host doesn't remember what she was talking about. The host doesn't know what she was talking about, all right? Yes, what she was talking about is the, the, the indirect question. Another one, could you find out where the training session will take place next week? Could you find out where the training station, sorry, the training session will take place next week? Where the training session will take next week? Uh, place next week is the indirect question. Another one. Do you know who cleans the warehouse? Who cleans the warehouse is the indirect question. Do you understand what she is saying? What she is saying is the indirect question. Now, it's questions time. Do you have any questions? Make 
excuse me. Okay, you don't have any questions, that's, that's good, that's good. That's fine. Look, we're going to continue in, hello? Somebody Sorry. said, please. I have, I have a question. Yes. Um, these are a different type of indirect question. Yes, with WH because, questions, with WH uh, questions. Okay, with, with this type, um, with WH questions, they, um, they, the, the, the question, it's gonna be like a question form because in the other, in the other type, um, it, it doesn't, it doesn't have to, to, to go in the question form. Right. Yes. The same as these ones. They do not. They do not take the question word order. Over here, we don't have a question word order. Okay. What she is competing for is not a question word order. Okay. okay. The question word order will be what is she competing for? Okay. Mm, okay. Yes. So we. It's the same thing. We do not. We do not use the question word order. Look. Uh, where? But she was talking about not a question. Where the training session will take place, not a question. Who cleans? It is a question, but in a different situation. So I will say yes mm -hmm. in this case. Okay. okay. Uh, what she is saying is not a question. Okay. So okay. it's the same. It's the same. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. More questions, guys? Remember that English is the same as Spanish. We have different ways of asking questions. Yes. Yes. So. And uh, also, we, we, when we want to know something, we, we, uh, we uh, use these indirect things, right? Okay, let's continue here. It's practice time. Let's practice for a few minutes. Look, it's gonna be something easy. Complete the following expression with an indirect question, okay? Yes, but remember, we're going to use the, the WH questions. We need to use the WH questions. Look, does Mr. Cigarang, me, hello, does Mr. Cigarang know? Okay, and then you can use what, where, when, who, why, what kind of, who's, et cetera. Go ahead. I'm going to give you two minutes, two, and then we will share. Teacher could be could be one. Does Mr. Cigarang know where the manager is? Okay. okay. It could be a, more, uh, 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 a difficult one or a complex, a complex one. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Teacher, it yes. can be, does Mr. Sigran know where he is taking the next lesson? Oh, no. 
Repeat it, repeat it. Does Mr. Sigeran know where he is taking? No, I think that is bad. I'm going to, to fix sing. it. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Remember, you the, the subject is before the auxiliary. Okay. Yes. So what you use is what, where, which, and then the person or the subject. Okay. One example, I don't know where the dog, I don't know why she, I don't know where uh, where I left, okay? So after the question, the WH question, we need the person and then the auxiliary or the verb, okay? That's what we need right there. Okay, I think we're gonna start sharing right now. And uh, okay, Christopher wants to try. Christopher, yes. I don't know if it's correct, but does Mr. Sigaran know when we will start the next English level? Yes, yes. Repeat it, please. Does Mr. Sigaran know when we will start the next English level? Okay, there you go. There you go. Yes. Does Mr. Sigaran know where we will? Right. Perfect there, perfect. Excellent, Christopher, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's continue. Teacher, yes. teacher please correct to me. Correct me. Uh, correct me, so <laughs> please correct me. Does Mr. Cigarang know whom we are meet? Who? We are meet. Reunido. Con quien estamos reunidos? Uh, who who we are meeting with? We are meeting with. Now repeat again. Does is whom or who? Who who? Who? Does Mr. Sierra knows who we are meeting with? Uh huh. Okay. Who we are? We are. Yes. It's good, it's okay, it's okay. Let's continue, continue guys. I'm here, I'm here, I'm listening. I'm receiving your answers, I'm getting your answers. Receiving and getting, I mean receiving because sometimes you, you share them in the chat. So. Sometimes. Guys? Cry. Teacher. We're going yes. to try again. Okay. Does Mr. Sigaran know where the classroom is? Okay. That one is better. That one is better. Yes. It's correct now. Yes. Okay. People, try, try. Rosa? Lucy? Antonio? Pamela? Hello? Holman? Elivaldo? Isabel? Hello? Okay, teacher. Yes. Can you hear me, teacher? I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Does Mr. Singaran know why the student no one's part page? Repeat it, please. Does Mr. Singaran know why the student are not participating. But participating. Ah, okay. Teacher. Yes. For example, does Mr. Sierran know when the classes are finished? Okay. When the classes are finished. Okay. Or when it, when the classes will be finished or will finish. Okay. Yes. Yes. Very good, very good. Thank you, Lucy, for that example. Let's continue, guys. Oh, I just heard I heard my knee. Yes. Guys, I'm still waiting. It's okay, it's okay. Teacher, can we uh, does Mr. Sierra? 
when the when the exam is, is scheduled okay. can you repeat it please? yes yes repeat it does mr cigarang know when the exam is scheduled yes now with no interruptions excellent yes <laughs> okay yes it is correct it is correct okay yes perfect thank you thank you let's continue Check that, teacher. Does yes. Mr. Cigarang know which one of them will be my supervisor? Repeat it, please. <laughs> yes. Does Mr. Cigarang know which which one of them will be my supervisor? Okay. Which of them sounds better? Which of them? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. The rest is perfect. Which of them? Okay. Yes. The rest is good. It's good. It's correct. Let's continue. <clears throat> Guys, I'm still waiting. <clears throat> No. Okay. Let me choose. Let me choose people directly. Okay, Holman, go ahead. Give us example. <clears throat> Does Mr. Sigaran know what her name is? What his name? Come again, please. What what her name is? Her name. Her name. Her name is. Wait, repeat. Uh, does. Yes. Oh, so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, does Mr. Cigaran, what her name is? Oh, you forgot. No, no, you forgot. No. <laughs> yes. I think what her name is. All right, all right, yes, yes. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you very much for sharing. Uh, Rosa, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, I'm learning because I, <laughs> I listen my my class my classmate and trying to, to make some to understand sentences. That. <laughs> okay. I try, try, please. Yes, thank you. It's okay, but does Mr. Cigaran know when his son come to the house? When? When Mr. Cigaran know when his son come to the house? I don't understand the, 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 the last part. I mean, to ask when, when I try to put Si el señor Cigarán sabe cuándo su hijo vendrá a casa. Oh, okay. Can you write it in the, in the chat, please? What did I do with, okay. Okay. Chat, chat. Please. People, I don't understand what Rosalina is saying. Hey, there you go. <laughs> practice, practice. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's it's the it. only way for, for learning. Yes. That's Mr. Cigarra. This, this, yeah. this, this, this topic is, is hard for me. It, it's difficult because your brain is automatic and we need to change our brain. Yes. We need to change it. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Uh, well, Send send us the the, the example yes. to the, yes. the chat, <clears throat> and we will see it there. And here, we're going to continue with that one later. Let me stop okay. this. And now we're going to continue with. Hold on, hold on. Here. 
this one, this one, unit number three, we continue with this new unit and we continue talking about the production line. Okay, yesterday we were talking about, well, actually this week we've been talking about the production line. Okay, uh, could you mention what the production line is? What is it? Production line. What do you remember? Excuse me. <clears throat> Teacher, I remember. Uh, I remember that the production line is like a sequence of steps that we have to do to to make something to make a, a product. Okay. Okay. Very good opinion. Very good opinion. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's continue with somebody else. Another one. Thank you, Krista. Thank you very much. Guys, another one. Production line. I, I remember that the production line is the, is the process. Um, is the process in the um, factory to start with the raw materials and finish with the, with the product finished. Okay, okay, yes. Well, what Christian and what you mentioned, uh, it's what we have understood about this and it's exactly what it is, yes. All right, let me make this bigger. And we have some questions here to discuss. Before the questions, we're going to go and take a look at this part. It says, I will be able to identify or identify specific details in a passage related to calculating costs of a product. Then after that, we have three questions here. We have three questions that we're going to be discussing. The first one says, do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing costs is essential to make profits? What do you think about this question? Oh, no, before, before that, what is regardless? What is regardless? <clears throat> Guys, regardless? No, no idea. No, I don't. I have no idea. Uh, I don't have any idea, teacher. All right, all right. In, in Spanish, it will be like, like. How can I tell you like without speaking Spanish? Sin, sin importar. Like a no matters. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Sin importar. Exactly. That's what it is. Like not paying attention. To something, okay, or ignoring, right? Yes, importa, right? El tamaño, yes. That's regardless. Okay, yes. T teacher, yes. Yeah, I, I think that is important. Okay. Uh, no, uh, regardless the size of the business, it's important to analyze anal how to say analyzing. analyzing analyzing cost for me it's essential because you always need to need and want to to get a profit of a product because you if you want to stay uh, in the time you need to make profit you know for no get down the production or the business Okay, okay. Uh, how, I, how I have to say, or how I can say, uh, como la quiebra, para que no se venga la quiebra, el negocio. Bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. In the chat. Bankruptcy. Yes. That's me right now. <laughs> 
That's me. That's me right now. <laughs> That's me this month and next month probably. <laughs> yes. No, no, impossible. Impossible. <laughs> right. That's my life every day. Excuse me. Okay. More opinions, more opinions. Do you agree that regardless of the size of the business, analyzing costs is essential to make profit? That's the question. What else can you say about this? Yes, teacher, it is essential because you can you can you can have um hot dogs store for example mm -hmm. you have to you have to analyze the cost the costs what is the pronunciation for the plural costs you have to analyze the costs because if you if you if you don't don't study that you will be in what is that banks routes or something like that okay <laughs> <laughs> yes yes okay very good very good all right is there anybody else yes teacher i think i think um analyzing costs it is essential because you if if your if your the cost of your of producing your your product or or whatever you are gonna you are gonna uh, be in your business if the cost is too elevated you you are not going to to perceive the profit okay okay all right all right i have another question to include here it's not here but uh have you ever had a business or do you have a business anybody i have a fish business fish or fishing a fishing business you go and you fish fish <laughs> you, you fish <laughs> no 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 i sell fish i sell fish no <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> no kind of uh, I, okay. <laughs> <My> right. fish. <laughs> i sell fish all right all right so how how do you do this It's easy. I um, I I um, I I buy the fish, shop for the client, and sell and sell it. And the situation about the cost is is easier. Mm -hmm. You have to you have to buy with the price and we have to add to this price uh, you have to add your cost for example delivery uh, electrical service water employee if you have and something like that and you have to take some money for you and and then if the product cost um, with employee electrical bags and etc the product costs one dollar you have the 20 percent for you is your your profit all right it's, all right. it's something like that it, you you make it sound you better you make it sound very easy but for me it's not easy Money is, is something very complicated to deal with. One man one man told to me, it's easy. You you buy ship and you sell 
uh, what is the opos opposite of cheap? Uh, expensive. You you uh, you you buy cheap and you sell expensive. It's easy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking speaking of that, speaking of that, uh, this brings back memories. Like uh, when I was in the university, I had. Uh, well, I won't say this because uh, this person might see the video on YouTube. So, uh, somebody was selling things, you know, uh, let's say that the things were, at, well, you were supposed to pay $10, let's say, $10. But this person used to get these things online, yes? And online, they cost $2. So this person was making a lot of profit. You know, eight dollars per unit is a lot of profit. Yes, I don't know, but that person is very, very smart or scam. We don't know, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, look this one. Have you ever calculated the price of a product? Have you ever calcul calculated the price? of a product? Yeah. Okay, who else? Yes, I have. No, teacher, I have never. Okay, never? Yes, I have. Okay, you have, all right. I have teacher. Yeah. Okay, you have. Christopher, can you tell us about it? Was it you? Was it you? I think it was you. Yes, yes, it's me. Well, it's a, a service. In my previous job, I have to analyze the correct price for uh, introduce a new service. I was working at a credit bureau. So we want to know if the companies will uh, accept our offers and we analyzing all the time we take to 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 improve our new service the time the sorry the cost for new licenses for the system the time uh, for the for the sales for the for the sales team go to present all the well the, the, the new service and everything, uh, and everything that that little things for for making a a projection to to sales, and it's very hard. Okay, okay, you're saying that is very hard. All right, all right. I'm, yes. I'm guessing it's hard. Like I think dealing with numbers is difficult. That's that's why I speak English. I study English, and I and I like this. I like this. Okay. Yes, yes. I I uh, forced I forced myself to love this. Okay, to avoid mathematics. <laughs> it's a joke. It's not true. It is not true. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, okay, thank you, Christopher, for your for your participation. Very good, very good. Okay, look, look at this one. This one. Can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product? <clears throat> Can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product? What about this one, people? Can you name or can you mention these three fixed expenses? Or what is a fixed expense? Expense. Do you understand it? Maybe water, the water service. Okay, the water service. The electrical. Electrical okay. service, electricity, electricity, electricity service, mm -hmm. and the rent. Okay, and the rent. So basically, the fixed expenses are those bills that are necessary to pay every month, or it that is mandatory to pay every month, like us in our houses. We have to pay our bills every month, right? Every month. 
So every month when we have our money or our payment, we have to do the same calculations as this, okay? To see if our money is going to be enough or not. Yes, okay. Now, excellent, let's continue here. Angelina pretty much mentioned the, the, the fixed expenses, electric, the electricity bill, the water service, uh, probably the internet, the machines they are using, if they are rented, the place, all right? And uh, well, all of it, it covers all of it. Now, we're gonna go down here to part number two, and it says here, read the following text, picturing tips on how to analyze the cost of a product, then answer the questions below, okay? Very good. We're going to do this. I'm going to read it, okay? I'm going to read this. After that, I'm going to ask you questions about the vocabulary, yes? And then I'm going to take you to the groups to read with, with your classmates. And also you, uh, probably in pairs, you're going to be answering the questions down there. Let me read, please. Uh, mark or underline the words or expressions that you don't understand. Let me start reading. It says, there are three important factors businesses need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the desired markup by the business. The cost of production. Fixed and variable cost determine the selling price of a business firm's products. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume like labor and materials. In pricing your product first, determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. Although it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost uh, of production per unit. Now, you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the costs of production. Another tip here, market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As prices fall, demand rises. And as prices rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just an, as important to consider when uh, setting a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or a direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so, the, so does demand for a product. Determining the markup of a product. Regardless of the type of a small business, markup is the amount, to, the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The market percentage is determined by the amount of planned but the amount of your planned profit, the type of the product or service you are selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed by the seller. It's a lot to read. Now, guys, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Let's check it. In the, in the first paragraph, teacher. Well, the introduction, the desired markup, what means? It means, uh, we saw the precio, 
subida de precio, incremento de precio, sobre precio. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. Markup means sobre precio, subida de precio, or incremento de precio. That's what it is. More questions about the same line or the same paragraph or about the other ones? People ask me. Teacher, sure. uh, having a question is word. Yes. Uh, um, let me see. Uh, 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 la, la, el, el slide. El slide. Un poquito yes. más. No, no, no. Ahora vamos a crear. Permítame. Vamos a buscar. Vamos a buscar. Si yo puedo ir a buscar, ¿eh? Abajo, en la barra de tu. Ok. Hello. Es en the, en the, en the last paragraph. En the last paragraph, this word, uh, regardless. Ah, you mean here, this one, you said. Regardless, regardless, guys, what is regardless? I told you. You remember? Sin importar. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, more questions, people? All right, more questions? No, we're good. So I'm going to make couples and over there, please practice. Both of you read and then both of you answer the questions in part three, okay? Let's do that. Hello. Yes, hello. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making the, the, the groups here. Uh, I think this one is now. Okay. Okay. We are ready. Uh, guys, read the paragraphs, practice there, and then as couples answer or as pairs answer the questions down there. Okay. Let's go. I will be helping you monitoring you and helping you with the pronunciation or probably some word definitions. Let's go. Go to the first one. Let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
Fue re pro, bro. Ay. Yes. Ay, yes. Wait, uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't enable this. Okay, now you can share if you want to. Yes, teacher. We're going to practice reading the paragraph and then we're going to answer the questions. Okay, teacher. I'm uh, going to share my screen. As you, Christian. Hello, teacher. You joined uh, with another another account. Your yes, yes. Okay. With a computer to share my to share my my screen. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Yeah, teacher, uh, yes. we have to read first the first paragraph one and the second paragraph. That's up to you. Okay. Uh, read one one paragraph each one, Antonio. Okay. I'm yeah, going to start the with uh, there. Hello. I start things there from there. Yes, one one paragraph. Okay, I read. Okay. There are three important factor business need to consider when when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the desired markup by the business. The cost of production. Fixes and variable costs determine the selling price of a business, films, films products. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume, like labor and material. Factor that a, that a business owner should consider when appraising a product. The law of demanding is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As price falls, demand rise, and as a price rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just an important to consider when setting a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for a product determining the markup of a product. Regardless of the type of, of small business, markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The markup percentage is determined right by the amount of a plan of your planet profit, the type of your product or service are you selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performer Performed by the seller. Hi. Hi, teacher. Teacher, what is pronunciation? Uh, variable, variable. Very, variable. 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 Okay, este volumen. 
Volume. Como? Volume. 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 Uh, al throws, ¿cómo es? Although. Although. No. Uh, this this word is al, al throws. Look, look at the chap. Now in the chat, although. Right. Although, although. Hold on. In the chat. Although, although. Mm -hmm. Sounds bad, although. Although. Although, thank you. Continue, okay? Let me go to another one. Okay, thank you. Okay. Of the man is that there is an inverse relationship. Between the man and price, mm -hmm. man rise and the price rise. Prices. What is the meaning? Look, price? look, look at this. The right. law, the law of demand, is mm -hmm. that there is an inverse relationship uh -huh. between demand and price. As prices, because you have more, more demand, the right, the price is up. Mm -hmm. uh-huh if you have more demand you have uh-huh uh if you're i don't know the <laughs> uh-huh uh -huh. <laughs> if the demand is because rice uh-huh the prices price demand price and us price price la demanda sube, <laughs> le sube le sube like yeah. uh, eggs right now don't have any eggs few eggs in the market their price up <laughs> exactly yeah. right. yes it's like when we don't have we don't have a product uh -huh. we don't have a model we don't have many many models it's just it goes crazy yes yeah <laughs> it goes crazy okay how does market demand affect the price of the product Maybe write that, Magdaleno. Okay, Very write good. that. Demand rise and price rise. Mm -hmm. if, the, if the market demand rise, uh -huh. <clears throat> demand rise, the prices rise too. Mm -hmm. The prices rise too. And if the market demand fall, it's the ley de la oferta y la demanda. Wow. Hi, Pamela. Hi, teacher. Did you see what what our oh, okay, Lucy is here? It is bad. It is bad.
Did you finish with the with the with the whole activity? I finished, teacher, but uh, I I work alone. Okay. You finished. Yes. All right. Uh, just give me like probably two minutes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let me go to another one. Excellent. El margen. The marco is the moon. You add uh -huh. the cost. You put. Es como ese pequeño lo que uno le da al, al producto. Ajá. Uh -huh. To sell and, and determine. To determine the selling price. Selling price. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. This is the marco okay. present that contained by the. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces aquí pregunta qué es lo qué variables determinan el. Eh, como ese porcentaje de ganancia, ¿verdad? aquí dice, eso es determinado por by the amount of the planet land profit. profit. Ok, uh -huh. excelente. And that's it. Ok, eh, I, will, I will copy it. Ok. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Just a little right. moment. I will I will copy it in my okay. in my manual. It's okay. Okay. Hi, are we done here? I think we are. <laughs> yes, teacher. We're done. Okay. So let me just go to the last no two more groups. To two more groups, and then I'm going to take you back to the main session to share the answers. Okay. Okay, perfect. Los, the cost fixes, the cost fixes and variable. In my opinion, is the, the the most important considers uh, price of products is a fixes and variable cost, variable cost of fixes and cost of variable. Mm -hmm. You finish now, no? Still <laughs> Sorry. Estamos pensando. Okay, okay. Let me go to the last one then. Qué tan rápido con productos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And rápido the last. And the amount of service performed by the seller. Uh -huh. Yeah. The commission, no? I don't understand this phrase actually. A seller, a seller is a, a el vendedor. El vendedor, ya. Yeah. Entonces, de el amount of service es como la comisión que le vas a pagar te sube el precio. El monto del servicio es? desarrollado por el vendedor, ah, pues y la comisión. Ya. Yeah. Es another mm -hmm. um, another variables influence to determine the market. Percentage. Variable. Okay. Variable. Variable. Excuse me? Variable. Very, 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 the How rapidly? How rapidly your product sells? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> sells. Okay, and the amount. The amount of service. <laughs> which one? Which one? <laughs> it's okay. I feel it's like, me. Mi hijo ya. 
I feel the same. I feel the same. It's, oh, it's Friday. Guys, uh, hey, which one are you working on? Which answer or which question are you working on? The last mm -hmm. one. Oh, okay, okay, the last one. After we're this, finish. we're finished. We're finished the question. Practice. Yes, we have to practice. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you for sharing the conversation. The, oh, the yeah. paragraph. The thank question. you. Yeah, here. Okay. Uh, the first says the cost of production, the market demand, and the desired markup. Markup by BC. Okay, I got it. My business. Comételo, hijo. Yo voy a comer después. Oh, my goodness. No he cenado. Okay. Tengo hambre. It's okay. I'm saying it in the table, Rosalind. We feel sorry. Ay, es que tuve un día terrible, pero bueno. Ya terminó, gracias a Dios. Dale, yeah, go ahead. Good. Wake up. Reading. <laughs> okay. Delano, reading for wake up, please. <laughs> Okay. If you feel I, let... like that, maybe I feel too the same you. <laughs> okay. I go forward. Forward. Okay. There are three important factor businesses. Uh, businesses need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the desired markup by the business. The cost of production, fixed and variable, variables cost. Variable, yes. Variable cost. Determine, is right, determine. Determine, determine. Yes. determine the selling price of a business firm's product. Mm -hmm. Fixed cost include items such as the rent, as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume, like labor and materials. In pricing your products, first determine, determine how, much, how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. Although, it may be a difficult calculation. A variable, uh, a simple formula, mm -hmm. formula to help to help you is to add your total fixed cost uh, to your total variable cost. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost of product per unit. Now, you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Market demand for a product of service. Market demand for a product or a service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As prices fall, fall. As prices fall, demand rise. As a prices rise, demand falls. Oh, is the opposite that we wrote that we yeah, it's a law. It's a positive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, demand falls. Demand for your product is just as an important. Uh, oh. Demand for your product is just as important to consider when setting setting a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumers' income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up. So that's demand for a, for a product. Determining the markup of product. 
regardless, 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 no, regardless of the type of small businesses, businesses, business, business, mm -hmm. regardless of the type of small business, markup is the amount you add the cost of the product to determine it to determine the selling price. The market percent, uh, percent, uh, percentage. The market percentage. The market percentage is determined, no, determined. The market percentage is determined by the amount of your planned, of your planet. How, how is the pronunciation of plan? Planning. 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 No, planned. Planned. Uh -huh. Planned. Planned. Okay. Uh, sí. Determine. Uh, yes, yes, continue. Okay, by the amount of the planned profit. Profit. The type of the pro profit. Profit. The type of profit. Perdón, perdón, profit. Perdón. It's profit. Mm -hmm. The type of the product of service you are selling, how <clears throat> rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed by the seller. Okay, aquí I had a difficult with percentage. Mm -hmm. It is determined. What is the term determined? Determined. 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 And uh, you can determined. say percent, you can say percentage or percentage. 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 Both are correct. Percentage. Percentage. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to the main session because it is late. <laughs> we need to continue with with another activity. Yes. Okay. okay. Let's go. Eh, Rosalina. Vámonos a main session. Bye bye. I'm going to bring you back again here. I'm going to bring you back here again. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's go back. Okay. Bye bye. 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 Okay, now everybody is back, well, almost everybody. Okay, this is, this is the paragraph and these are the questions. Uh, well, we're gonna share them, we're gonna share them. I'm going to ask one question per group, okay? In that way, we save a time and it's going to be easier for us to share, hold on. Okay, uh, Antonio and Christian, please share the answer for number one. Okay, teacher. Uh, what are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? We answer the cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the desired markup, markup by the business. Okay, very good. Uh, guys, do you agree with Christian? In my opinion, yes. in my opinion, is a yeah. fixed and variable. Which you may as well, yeah. Yes, yes. yes, Ivan. Sorry. Uh, okay, in my opinion, the answer is a fixed and variable cost. Okay, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. 
You, Ivan, read the second one. The second question? Yes. Okay. What are some example or fixed costs? Mm -hmm. Okay, the example of the fixed cost is uh, uh, the rent, the rents for your office or manufacturing space. Okay, okay. I think everybody agrees. Thank you, thank you, Ivan, for that one. That one is good, it's good, it's good. Christopher and Holman, share the number three, please. What are examples of variable costs? Rent for your, oh, no, sorry, sorry, labor and materials. Okay, labor and materials. Variable, okay, variable, variable costs. Excellent, excellent, Christopher and Holman, yes. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me see, uh, Magdaleno and uh, Rosalina, share the other one, please. Number four. Guys. In, in this part, the number four, how does market demand affect the pricing of, a, of your product? And we answer, this part and is it is a uh, inverse relationship between demand and price uh, if the price fall the demand rise and as prices rise demands fall is that okay 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 you know and and uh, and uh... Rosa, thank you, thank you. Very good. The next one, the next one is what variable influence <clears throat> to, determine, to determine the markup percentage. Uh, Pamela, hello. Um, yes, number five. Um, the the percentage is determined by the amount of your canned profit. Okay. All right. All right. Fantastic. Very good. Very good. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you the activity that we're going to do for a couple of minutes. Look at it. It's here. This activity, you can find it, find it on page number 26, if I'm not mistaken. Page 27, yes. It's this one, number seven. Number seven, it says, group work. Take as a reference the prototype you worked with in the in the in your turn section from the previous lesson. Then, that's the, 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 we have this already, okay? We have the groups and we have the, the material. Now, we're going to do this. This activity, design a basic production process to start, um, to start massive manufacturing of the prototype. List the materials the product requires. Identify the type of machinery necessary for the production. Okay, this one. List the methods that will be used for production, example, welding, ca casting, breath working, etc. Detail the essential tasks in each step in the production process. And the last thing is to create a root, a root sheet explaining the sequence of the production process. <clears throat> so we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're going to take as an example, only one thing that I'm going to share with you in the chat. Wait. This one is a, a very easy, wait, I'm not finding it. Oh, wait, wait, not here, here, where is it? Excuse me, guys. I don't know what I left it. Can't remember what I left it. Yes. Okay. 
This activity was done by Christian. Christian did it, and uh, well, it's there. It's a bit, it's a, I already sent it to myself. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to send it. So this is the one that we're going to use as reference. Okay, I just shared it with you in the WhatsApp group. Did you get it? Did you get it? Yes. Okay, that's that's the product that we're going to take into consideration or that we're going to take as reference. Let me show you the presentation again. Here, look. I'm showing it to you to you again. We're going to do all of this. The product is going to be the same, okay? The pupusas product, that one, that one. Okay. Let me stop sharing and let me take you back. I'm going to take you back to the to the groups, okay? With the with some exceptions, I'm going to move some people. Example, this person. Teacher. Yes. The product is gonna be the pupusa. Yes, that one, that one. Yeah. Okay. That one, that one. Okay. The same groups, Pamela. I'll be I'll be ready if if you are alone. Okay. I'm sending somebody else, but I don't know if this person is available. Guys, let's go. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. There you go, Christian. <laughs> yes, I am connecting with my computer. Me. Um, the I made a mistake there. <laughs> hey, teacher. Yes. Uh, how I can say plancha in English or blender? Oh, you mean the the, the, the big one? The uh -huh, for many pupusas. Yes. For Two. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
like this thing. Yes. Hello. Yes. <clears throat> what another machine is Only that. Maybe tambo de gas, algo así. Hmm. I think so. I'm here, guys. I'm listening. Uh, I, 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 I. I'm thinking. Okay, you're thinking, 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 thinking. Well, I think it's about pupusas. The first is the the uh, mass and the tough. Tough. The, yeah. the corn, corn. We have the we corn. Have yes. to, we have to moler the car. Grind. We have to grind the car. Mm -hmm. A lot of work for create the the tough to make the tough. To 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 do to do the to, to create the tough. No. For me it's the, the, the first. And then we have to buy a lot of different products, the beans, uh, cheese, sauce, sauce. Continue, guys. Hmm? Teacher, I am trying. I am trying to to enter my computer. Mm -hmm. Could you send to me? Uh, uh -huh. Could you send to me for this group? To this group. Yes, please, teacher. I'm, I'm going. Okay. Make the. Okay. I don't see you. Your your computer. Mm -hmm. There you go. Join me with my computer. Already. Like this. Yes. 
What else? Mm. How do you say como mm -hmm. ollas? Como para hacer la salsa y todo eso. Pero eso entraría en maquinaria. No sé. ¿Cuál es la otra? Maquinaria. Y de ahí serían métodos. Quizás sí, porque ajá, dice los que usarías para la producción. <coughs> Soldadura. Se lo ponemos. Ah, pues sí, si gusta, ponga las, las ollas. Sería... ¿Cómo serían los, los sartenes? Pants. Pants. Uh -huh. Pants, yes. Mm -hmm. What else? Pots, mm -hmm. pots and pans. What? Pots and pans. Ah, oh, okay. Oye, oh, yeah, sartén. <coughs> Like this. Mm. What, what, what else? What another machinery? Mm. I don't know how do you say, but espatula. 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 Yes, <laughs> we know, we know E. Spatule. No, but the same, the same, the same uh, in Spanish, but we know, we know E, like, espatula in, the Sp in Spanish, right? Ah, okay, like espatula, uh -huh. oh. S-P-A, espatula, uh -huh. yes. Like this. That one, that one, yes. Okay. What about spoons? Mm. I know, but that, you need machinery, right? Spoons, no? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Spoons. Knives. <clears throat> Pero sería soup, soup spoon, porque es de la grandota, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Knives. Um, rallador, ¿cómo se dice? Para ser repetido. <laughs> Grated. Yes. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo es? Yo le puse rayador. Grater. Grater. Ah, ok. Like this. Yes, yes, yes. Ok. Mm. What else? Yo creo que solo eso. Mm -hmm. And dice: List the methods that. Use for production. Mm, how what, can you how how can you name the process of char tortilla? <laughs> tortilla. No tortilla. <laughs> Clapping. <laughs> Clapping. <laughs> no, there there is a there is a word. Clapping <laughs> corn. <laughs> 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 There's a word, but I can't remember the word. I remember yeah. I, I investigated about this word a long time ago, but I can't remember it. Okay, but but uh -huh. but what kind of method? <laughs> Pupusear only. Tortear. Vamos a investigar. Yes, because what? What another or which another method? No, that's the only method you can. Yes. Pero no sería yes. como cocinar o algo así, cook de, de pupus. O make, yes. no, es que no sería muy general. Mm -hmm. Y ahí dice describir el método. List the methods that will be used for production. Uh -huh. The method. Just here is like padding to shape. That one. What? Like padding the shaft. What are the shaft? Padding to shape. Padding to shape. That must be like the, the, the easiest one to understand. I have some over here, but they are like not really, really. An accurate. 
Uh -huh, exactly, exactly. Pat into shape. Pat uh -huh. into shape. That one. Pero es como que darle, darle, darle forma. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, exactly. It's, it's a pattern, right? Right? Uh -huh. Like, like this. <laughs> but, okay. What, what? We can use, the... we can use the verb, we can use the verb handmade. Like handmade. Uh, hand... Hand, handmade. Como yes. handmade. Ah, okay. Handmade. Oh. Handmade, <coughs> handmade pupusas. Hand, hand, if it is handmade, it will be handmade, handmade, okay? Okay. Adjective, yes. Handmade pupusas, that is our method. <coughs> okay. Mm. Mm. Pero digamos que ese es, ese es para el sol, pero no vamos a incluir el curtido, la salsa, todo eso. Yes, cook mm. the, the other ingredients. Porque ahí sería grating the, the, ¿qué? The cabbage. The cabbage. Grating the cabbage. Onion. Um, ajá. ¿Cómo se dice hervir de onions, de tomato? For the soup. But in this part, the in soap. this part, uh -huh. in this part, we have to list the methods that will be used for products. <clears throat> in this case, can be cooking, cooking. Uh, pa, uh, how do we say? Handmade, uh, handmade cooking the. Handmade cooking the. The, yes. I don't know, the ingredients and then I think we have to detail the like the process first mm -hmm. the ah, okay the initial say, the step mm -hmm. uh -huh. ah, okay the you can put then a uh, handmade handmade cooking uh, pupusas and complements <laughs> que es el curtido de la salsa ah mm -hmm. uh -huh, yes Okay. Can you see it? Yes. How how do we say cooking? Oh, handmade uh, cooking, <laughs> cocinando, cocina. ¿Cómo se puede decir? Or handmade cook, cook, cook the <coughs> cook the the compliments. <laughs> And then the handmade, handmade pupusas. Cook the What complements. Cook, cook the complements for a handmade pupusa. Mm -hmm. Para una pupusa de chamano. For a hand. Yeah. También tenemos aquí Loroco, Ayote. No, eso no lo cocinamos, eso no. ya es cuando lo hacemos. Sí. Que ver. El, el repollo sí va, primero se pasa por. Agua alguna caliente. Gente que, ajá, alguna gente que lo pasa por agua caliente. Ajá. Eh, lo vamos a poner ahí, va. Ah, ¿Cómo se dice? Moler. Moler o tritura. ¿Cómo se dice moler? Grind. Ah, grind. Entonces, ese también va aquí. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Y aquí podemos tener, aquí, aquí también tenemos guy, da, ¿cómo se dice esto? No sé si de, de dog. The tail, the, the tail, the essential 
tasks in each step in the product process. Task. Teacher, what tasks? Tasks. 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 Activities or responsibilities. Activities okay. or responsibilities. Tareas. <laughs> uh -huh. Teacher, what, what do you say in English? Palmear. Palmear. I was I was looking for this week. I didn't know. I didn't know. And I was looking, I was looking for this information on the internet, and it says pat pat into shape. In the chat, pat into shape. You see it in the chat. Okay. Pat into shape. Palmear. Exactly. Pat into shape. Okay. Thank you. Yes, yes, I'm here. Taking notes. What in the chat? Por cual vamos por la penúltima. Yes. Detail the essential tasks in each step. Ajá, los de. Ya fue el profesor. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm taking notes. Sure. I, I don't understand. Uh, in the, the this is the detail, the essential tasks in each step in the production process. Que detallemos lo en, en la fabricación de la pupusa, o sea, ¿qué sería? En cada paso. Algo, yes, en cada preparar paso. Preparar bien la masa, mm -hmm. pues, el curtido, no sé. Yes, no sé yes. Si. Tomatoes, sauce, the beans, la carne, the pork. This is idea. Richard, say so F R E D G E. Rich. Yeah, correct. It's the finish, no? Ya la vendemos congeladas. Okay. Identify the type of machinery <clears throat> necessary for the production. Okay, because these are materials. It's already these are the materials, the materials. These are the materials the product requires. Eso ya estaba. Eso ya lo tiene la otra pensé. presentación. Vamos a ver dónde está la otra. Ingredients. Ingredients. Solo le faltaba ahí el, el, el package, el empaque. Porque eran los raw materials del producto, pero... Materials, él le ha puesto materials. Ah. Yeah. Ok. Materials le ha puesto artificial color, <laughs> spicy, flour, oil, yeah. things, mm -hmm. cheese, pork, Maybe chicken. Maybe only addition the package. Okay. El, 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 el empaque. Only that. Mm. Yeah. Material required. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, could you could you uh, dictar? ¿Cómo es, ¿Cuál es el verbo dictar? Dictate. Teacher? Dictate. Dictate. 
could you dictate to me, please? Again, the same? Do you write the same? Materials. But it's already, no? I can't put it that. Okay. Go ahead. I read. Mm -hmm. I mean, spicy. Next. Ah? Voy, voy, pero que lo estoy abriendo. Okay. <clears throat> Flour. Oil. Oil. Flour. Mm -hmm. Beans. How do you say it, teacher? Flour? Flour? No, no, it, it's al revés. It's O. Flour. Flour. Ajá, o U. Flour. Flour es lo que tiene. Yes, flour. Flour. Mm. Beans. Flour. Cheese. Cheese. Sería solo play, uh, put it in, in the put in, in the put it on the a hot the hot griddle the griddle Y ahí lo terminaríamos. And then eat it. <laughs> serve serve oh, with your favorite. How do you say voltearlas? Pues no sé la que más. Turn over. Turn over. Just turn over. Turn over for, for a complete oh. cook. Hole. Uh -huh, so come out. Turn over <clears throat> the pupusa when it's cooked mm -hmm. or how? Turn over the pupusa when it's when it's um, complete cook. When it's full cook. When it's like this. Yes. Uh, turn over the pupusa when when it is when it is fully fully okay there you go okay um where the, these are the steps yeah. um, the essential time. Create a root, this um create, create a root sheet explaining the sequence of the production process. No sería lo mismo. Yes. <laughs> I think I think Una we hoja have... de ruta explicando la secuencia. El teacher pero, quiere que le hagamos pupus. Pero como para hacer no aquí I don't understand the last part, teacher. Your your root root sheet is como una hoja de ruta. Yes. Hoja de ruta. <clears throat> what is that? Samples <laughs> or root sheets. It's I think it's pretty much the same the same as the previous step. <clears throat> So we have it. <laughs> yeah, and, and we're going to stop here because we don't have more time. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I'm gonna we're going to continue tomorrow with this. Let me take a, a, a 
a short video with the, with the group. You are the group with the most members. There are eight members in this group. Only, four. only four joined. <laughs> you oh, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. We're gonna go back to the main session because it is time. Okay, and Lucy's drinking tea. Are you drinking tea? Okay, good for you. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Okay, bye. 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 Okay, not everybody's back yet. We are waiting. Teacher. Yes, Lucy. For the, for the routine sheet, we need to make like a, a Excel table. Yeah, that, the thing is that it, it's, it's a, a complex thing. Yes. Yes, I was, I was, um, Searching an example, and it's like a Excel table with a step by, by step in one column, and the in la otra columna, la máquina, in la otra columna, el tiempo que me toma hacer ese paso, like something like that. Yes, exactly, exactly. It's a um, how can I tell you this? It's a document that you have to do. But it's very, very uh, organized, yes. And uh, it's about the process, okay? About how, how much time you're going to spend in this activity, in this other activity, etc. Yes. But I don't think I don't think it has to be uh, on Excel. It can be Microsoft Word. It depends on the create uh, creativity of the person. I think. Yes. Uh, but we're going to continue with that tomorrow. We don't have more time. Let me take attendance, people. Thank you very much for being here. It was a tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> not tomorrow. Why not? It's Monday. Be <laughs> Today is no. Thursday. Uh, yes, no, no, kidding. Friday, yes, kidding. Yes, kidding. No, yes, kidding. Because I'm so tired. Yes, kidding. No, you lost your mind. I started. You lost your mind. <laughs> People. I started thinking, wait a minute, it's Thursday, right? <laughs> you, you wake up. <laughs> I'm like, no, wait a minute. I'm still I'm still on earth. I'm tired, but I'm not. I'm oh, not. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Good one. Good one. I liked it. Okay. Adana Maria Turcios. She was here about, for a couple of minutes. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego. Christian Alexander Arevalo. Present teacher. Christopher Spitia Chipawa. Present teacher. Fatima Denise Aguilar. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Hector Francisco Morales. Isabel Hernández Hernández. Present. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Holman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Yes. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres. She was not here today, right? No, she wasn't. Thank you, Gabriel. Now, let me see. Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present. Yes, thank you. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas, yes. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero. Uh, Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Present teacher. And Rosalina Alvarado. Okay. Present teacher. Roberto was not here today. 
Okay. People, excellent. Thank you very much. All right. If you have any questions, you can stay. If you don't have any questions, go and sleep, okay? You need to get some rest. Go rest, all right? People, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Bye, good night, good night. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye. Today, we were practicing uh, the indirect questions, information questions. But we still have some problems with this topic. It's, it's uh, well, we use this type of questions every day. Indirect. Indirect questions. In formation questions. Okay, here. Let's use what, what, where, who, and why. Let me use uh, I need, I need to know why. Oh, wait, give it. I'm gonna give you a question with why. Why are you calling the supervisor? This is the question, the direct question. Look at this. Look at the structure right here. Are you? Are you? It's a it's the question word order. Okay. So this is a direct question. Let's put the D here for direct. Okay, direct question. Now let's have an indirect question with the same one over here. I need to know why you are, okay? That's how the indirect question goes. I need to know why you are calling the supervisor, okay? It's not a question, I mean, it doesn't have the structure of the question, but it is a question, indirect though, indirect, and look, you are, why you are, why you are calling. The question, the direct question is why are you calling? Here, we don't have a question. Why, are, why you are calling the supervisor is the indirect question. Let's put a D here for indirect. Another example here, let me show you another one. Okay, here. Marcos knows where he is another example marcos marcos knows what he is investing on look what he is the question is what is he okay this right here is the indirect question people please please practice continue practicing remember that practice makes perfection if you practice every day your english is going to improve a lot yes okay it's going to improve a lot so i will see you guys next time take care have a good night sleep well and just enjoy